me. Uh, we're looking for... What's it called again? You don't even know. Albert Square. Of course it is. Sorry. Um, Albert Square? Oh, right, yeah. 100 yards up under the bridge. You can't miss it. Oh, thanks very much. Bit in shop? Chippy? I think you'll be well taken care of, guys. It's not me coming to live here, is it? Stop winding her up. Yeah, but I ain't, am I? Is it in the club? No, yeah, that's snooker on. Beachy. Are we nearly there yet? It's about another five or six miles, Mo. Oh, we need to go in now. Well, get your head down, girl. Get yourself a bit of kip, yeah? It's a busy market, I don't think. Here, Mo, there's a long direct. What? <laughs> there's a long direct. You're going to be in your element. No, I still can't hear you. <laughs> and a boozer. Full ass. Maybe you will marry you after all, then, Lynn. But well, wonder the market ain't working. Look, the curtains are all closed. Those bunch of beggars are still in bed. Well, you'll be at home, won't you, Gary? <laughs> Right, what number was it? 23. What's that cab? Where have they got it? I want a cock up to begin here. So, what do we think? Oh, well, it's not exactly Amsterdam, is it? How are we all going to fit in that? Oh, just have to be free in a bed, won't it? Oi! What's going on? Just stopped off for a cup of tea, Mo. We'll be back in 20 minutes. What? Where are they? Marvellous. We can't hang about, you know. I've got to get the van back for 12. It's another load yet. Where are we? Welcome to Slater Mansions, Mo. Oh. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> Blimey, you want to come have a look at this? <sighs> what? More of the great unwashed. Ten grand of the value of the house for starters. Right. Oh, where are Dad and Nan? This is just getting silly. Yeah, we know what your old man's like, didn't you? He's probably took some geezer down the housing department about the 64 Cup final. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Robbie. I'm uh, your next-door neighbour. Never a guest. Cheap. Still more than you can afford. Excuse me. Is this stuff going to be left lying here all day? I'm oh, sorry. Um, we're locked out. We're just waiting for the keys. Oh, it's all right. We're sorted. He can't leave that there. You know, I think we've got one of those neighbours they do telly programmes about. Where you been? I've only lost all that flaming form. But... Hey. Mm. Right, be careful with that girl. Carrying the crown jewels in. <laughs> Who's going to be the first over the threshold? Well, surely it's got to be your nan, eh? Yeah. Mo! <sighs> not changed in 30 years. Still the same old dump. <laughs> but not for long, eh? Give us those keys. Three cheers for Her Majesty, who's about to take up formal residence in her new palace. Yay! I formally declare the new Slater. <laughs> They've only given us the wrong pig in key. Oh. Well, it's got 23 Albert Square on the key ring. Are you calling me a liar? No. It won't turn. Leave it to the expert. Well, let the dog see the rabbit then. Right. Well, the thatch is down on the inside. How's that happened? I've been more than patient. You're going to have to move your cat. What's the problem? It's blocking the road. Right, just give me a couple of minutes while I sort it out. All right, mate? Mo, go round the back and let us in. Get the keys off of Gary. What? Don't fuss. Just do it. Oh, hey, oh. I want it shifted now. Yeah, all right. I'll and just... who are you? I live up there. Well, I wouldn't get off on the wrong foot with me, sonny, if I was you. No, and Dad. Oh, sorry, mate. I didn't realise. And I want this van and all this stuff moved as well, because they're going to be coming round this way in a minute. Like you said, let's not get off on the wrong foot. Dear, oh dear. Some people do choose their moments. What a load of old tats. Do you know him, Frank? No. You're all right, huh? Yeah. Who's that woman, Nan? 
Her name's Pat. She's been through so many husbands, I couldn't even tell you what her second name was these days. What, and is there a problem? For her there is, yeah. Let's get this door open. Someone find me a crowbar. Oh. Here, M, M. Right. Right. I've got all the beds. All we've got to do is decide who's going where. Uh, front bedroom, please. Not so fast, young lady. I've worked all this out. Lynn's in the front with Kat. What's oh, that? I'm next to the bathroom. Charlie's downstairs in the back room here so he don't disturb us when he's on lates. And so he's in the back with little Mo. Not again. I'm nearly 17. <laughs> no arguments. She's got her own flat. Why can't she stay in it? She will when Trevor's around, but at the moment he's not. So? What's wrong with your own place? Look, you know little Mo gets nervous when she's on her own. A little bit of understanding, please, love. Hmm? Yeah. That's one pound ten pence, please. There you go. Where's your twinkle? Because all the nice girls have got a twinkle. It's just that some are a little bit shy about showing it, that's all. Now, you're either A, not twinkling because you don't like me, or B, you do like me but you just don't want to show it. And me, ever the optimist, as you down as the letter. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Mm. Mm. Are you Scandinavian? Hardly. Ah, now you say that, but that could account for your lack of twinkle. I mean, you could be a Dane. Don't have no experience, possibly. Or even a Swede. Sauce with everything, double helpings, maybe. Personally, I reckon you're a bit of a fin. And what's a fin? Mm. Well, I would tell you, but I don't fancy a slap. <laughs> Is that a twinkle? Yes, we have a twinkle. And you're moving in across the square? No, no, I'm just a friend of the family, like, you know. I've got my own place, bachelor pad, you know. Sorry, Gary. Mel, so what's your line of work? Car mechanic in theory. So if ever you do need your spark plugs polishing, I'm your man. Do you make these yourself? No, you can't. We've got a funeral in here in a bit. Oh, I might have known. I ain't at this rate. I'll see you later. Us Scandinavians should stick together. Why, what are you? Me? I'm from Lapland. What are you doing? You are beautiful when you're angry. Right. Who's for the pub, then? Now you're talking. We've got work to do. Yeah, we've still got a week, though, haven't we? I know for a fact they've got a free load of Sarnies over there, haven't I? Who's up for it? <laughs> here we go. Oh, cheers. Why are we sitting here being so miserable? This isn't the way Ethel would have wanted it. Pauline, you haven't forgotten about Ethel's presence, have you? Oh, good point, Anita. Mark, be a love, will you? Nip over home and get Ethel's presents. They're in a box on the table in the sitting room. All right, Mum. That must be Maureen Harris. I mean, she's knocking on a bit, aren't she? <laughs> Oi, Maureen! Holy, what the hell am I going to do? I can't just ignore her. It's up to you. I don't understand. Who is she? Maureen Harris. She used to be married to Pat's brother. Oh, that Maureen. Yes, that Maureen. Eddie Skinner. Correct. And this must be your son-in-law. From our scenes, Charlie. This is Eddie Skinner, Ethel's nephew. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. Likewise. You knew Ethel at one time, didn't you? Filthiest sense of humour in any woman I met. <laughs> yeah, she'd be very sadly missed. Man too, for that matter. Look at her. Back here five minutes is like she already owned the place. <laughs> Just ignore her. How can I when she's living 25 yards from my front door? Where are you going? To get it over with. Hello, Mo. Well, I do declare. Long time. Indeed. How are you? Not so bad, all things considered. I've picked up one and two bits of bobs about you. How many husbands is it now? Look, I come over here to try and bury the hatchet. The one you planted in my back? The only trouble is it's still there and it still hurts. Doesn't matter. Just give me a large gin tea, will you please, Frank? Yeah. Will you turn that ratty thing off? Oh, I can't. Not, not yet. yet. It's driving me bad. I told you it's nice before you borrow. That's all. And will you two stop squabbling? No. I didn't borrow it. Someone just put it there. Yeah, I'll do it myself. No, no, you can't. I haven't unpacked my pots yet. Well, you don't need the ratty whistle on, do you? Oh, Go, Benny. Can you 
Can you find some plates and lay the table, please? Right, which one of you gorgeous girls are gonna make me a nice cup of tea? Mm. Oh, morning, Dad. Sit down, Dad. When you find my red top, can you make sure it gets hung up properly? Oh, yeah. Now, where do you think you're going? Nowhere. Wrong. You're gonna make yourself respectable, and then you're gonna go with your sister and try and find yourself a job. <laughs> Anything interesting? Oh, yeah, addressing envelopes for 75p every hundred. Wow. Or uh, handing out double glazing leaflets. Mm. That'd get me to top in hurry, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, and it'll get you a smack on the bum if you don't watch out. Mo, these eggs are hard. And a ruddy elephant, that woman. Tell her it was a bang heap. Pat Harris would still be the first to stick her nose in. Her and her mum were just the same. It's no wonder Jimmy wanted her. Please. Give over, Gil. I'm talking. Oh, go on. I'm nearly 17. And when you are 17, Zoe, you can apply for a provisional licence like everyone else. And when you get your provisional, then I may consider letting you have driving lessons. Now, lay off. When you're legal, sweetheart. Promise. We've got enough scallywags in the family as it is. Be worse. Ow. Oh, come on, the pub's all right. Yeah, if you're into geriatrics. <laughs> well, I'll just sort of place that and pick someone. Oh, yeah. Like who? I don't know, that probably seems all right. Oh, yeah, Miss Frump from Frump Town. <laughs> well, all right, what about her behind the bar, Peggy, whatever her name is? Oh, fur coat and no jewelry, that one. <laughs> oh, should we check out the calf? Yeah, you go ahead, I'm going to check out the shoe store. All right, send me a little while. The wind changes, you'll stay like that. Oh, nothing, Car. Um, I've just seen the card in the window. Is the job still going? Oh, I don't know. My boss ain't here. You're gonna have to speak to him. Phil Mitchell. Can oh. I help you? Uh, Lynn Slater. We've just moved in the square. Right. And I'm Zoe. Um, just wondered if the job's still going, and if it is, can I have it, please? Well, you got any experience? Yeah, loads. And I've worked in cafes as well. Are you, uh, you happy with the money? Well, I prefer a pension and a company car, but, you know... Well, um, I'll get back to you, OK? Oh, right. Well, I've got to see everyone, haven't I? Yeah, fair enough. See you later. Oh, it's number 23. Yeah, I know. Well, you lot made quite an entrance. <laughs> Comes on. What? What? Blind? <laughs> I'm pretty certain I got that job, so my shirt. Excuse me, could I have a vodka and tonic and a bottle of lager, please? Sure. Oh, you ain't been buying again, have ya? They're a bit more dearer than Wally's still, but I think they're gorgeous. What do you reckon? When do you sign on? Tomorrow. Oh, you're uh, settling in all right. Uh, I'm Jim Brannan. I live next door to you. I saw you there last night. Oh, right. Find your way round, all right? Just about. She did one side of Bridge Street and I did the other. Oh, ignore her. No, we're settling in fine, thanks. Your mum not with me? Oh, that's her name. Her mum's dead. Oh, well, that's Mo Harris. Yeah, they're still unpacking. We thought we'd escape. Oh, well, I think I'll go and present myself formally, as it were. Yeah, yeah they'd like that. <laughs> See you later. You got a problem? No, should I? Would you um, move those, please? You what? The shoes. Can you get them off the bar, please? Why, are you superstitious or something? No, just keeping things in order. You don't put clothes on my bar, I won't put beer in your wardrobe. Yeah, OK. Would you like a glass with that? Yeah, please. If you've got one to spare. Of course I have. First time in a pub, is it? Oh, I'm Jim Brennan. What do you want? Well, nothing really. I saw you in the pub last night. I didn't get a chance to say hello. I want my next door neighbour, see? Uh, just want to introduce myself. All oh, right. Mo Harris. Oh. Pleased to meet you. How'd you do? Uh, maybe you'd like to pop round for a cup of tea? That's very kind, I'm sure. But I'm a bit tied up at the moment. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Take the steak, the lamb, and the chickens. How much? Right, Mo. 60 quid, a lot. You're having a laugh, aren't you? That's all I'll get for it. Take 40 and think yourself lucky. Done. 
fetch us a nice bit of cod if you come across it, all right? Yeah, all right, sweet. And make sure you use the back door and all next time. I don't want the old ruddy square knowing my business. What do you reckon, then, girls? About what? Well, this place, Albert Square. It's all right, isn't it? I wouldn't know. I haven't had a chance to go out yet. Next door's been round already, poking his nose in. Where'd you get that? Off a bloke. Needed a new one. Well, new were one. Hey, was that Pat really a great aunt? Well, if she's Gwendolyn's sister, she must be, mustn't she? Oh, that's how you'll turn out if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> Over my dead body, Pat Harris says once was, has walked more streets than PC Plod in her time. Mind you, by the look of her now, she couldn't even keep herself in fag papers. Right, I'm off to do a bit of selling. One of yours, is he, Mo? He'd have better manners if he was. You're looking well. Don't flannel me and I won't flannel you. I'm just being polite. Actually, I was sorry to hear about your bib. Was you? Didn't notice you at the funeral. Well, maybe if I'd known about it. Then you always did keep things from your family, didn't you? You was never part of my family. And you ain't got no one to blame for that except for yourself. Look, I come over here to say, if we're going to be living on the square together, I see no reason why we... Well, we shouldn't be even in a civilised manner towards each other. All oh, very large dar in our old age, aren't we? No. Time's changed. So have I. Yeah, you have. Still, you can't keep your looks forever. You've got to have something to pull in the punters. You what? Don't tell me you're off the game after all these years. I'm a respectable married woman. Blimey. me. I'd like a pound for every time I've heard that over the years. I wouldn't be wearing cotton drawers. It's the truth. Don't doubt the married bit. Who's the lucky bloke? Smashing bit of steak. Mm. Get it off the market. Dad, did you think any more about... Pat! Pat, open the door! Oh, uh, no, it's Kevin! <laughs> Not again! <laughs> Please, it's me! What did you finish with him once? I finished with him a million times! No, don't! I'm not having this! I'm not in! <laughs> Pat! Pat! Look, I know you're in there. Sling your hook or I'll call the police. Look, I only want to talk to Cat, all right, for one minute. I don't minute. want to talk to you. And you get down off of there. Why didn't you tell me you were moving? I didn't want you to know, you plank. Oi, Kev, get down off me, Kev. Now. But I love you. Look, if you don't come down here, I'm going to kill myself. I mean it. I'll jump. Well, go on, then. See if I care. Belt up, you. Right. Right, I will win if that's what you want. Is that what you want? Kevin, I'm telling you. Why don't you love me? Cos you're only just out of short trousers. And you're a pillock. Yeah, but that time I took you out. Nan! I told you, sling your hook! <laughs> I'm all wet. Oh, I'm crying out loud. Get down. Oh! I fuck me ain't the hall. All right, all right. Look, get in the cab and I'll run you off, son. Go on. You'll feel better in the morning. It's only because I love her, Mr Slater. I mean, I really, really love her. I know, I know. And you, shut that window! What are you all gulping at? Naff off and mind your own business. Still washing your dirty linen in public, then, Mo? Whatever does Pat think she's doing, yelling and shouting like that? It's disgraceful. I love you! Go in, you nosy loader. Oi! Mo! Square's changed, Mo. We've all gone la dee da now. You didn't have any friends around here 30 years ago. You're not going the right way about getting any now. So why don't you put a sock in it? You stop putting on a sideshow, we'll all stop watching it. All right?
Just my girl. One all, I'd say. <laughs> Away with murder. I said I'd have a word with her and I will. What are you gonna do? Send her to bed early? She's wrecked half the market. She's only a kid. I'll remind you of that when she's in Holloway prison. Right, I'll think of something. <laughs> Mark? What? I've been thinking about Zoe and that business with a stool. What's left of it? <laughs> exactly. Well, I've got a suggestion. I'm listening. Hello, uh, Janine? Oh, you must be Lynn. Yeah. Nice to meet you. There you go, you better get inside. There's loads to be getting on with. Oh. Well, you come in or what? In a minute. Can't believe you're making me do this. You wouldn't have to if you hadn't a nearly trashed these stall. If I'd have had driving lessons, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't even think of going anywhere near a car after this. If I get bitten by one of them tropical spiders or something, it'll be your fault. Spiders? I've read about it. They lurk in the bananas. A bit of hard on his graft and a time will fly by. See you later. Oh, watch out, spiders. Right. Mm, bit of a state, isn't it? Yeah, well, let's get you started. Ah, I don't think so. You can finish unpacking the boxes. Yes, Nora, love, what can I get you? A couple of peppers, please. couple of peppers. Yeah. That's 40, please. Yeah. Cheers. What's this? You told me to build up the bash. Not the bash, the flash. And you're better doing it with good stuff. That stuff's all demic. What it? Demic. No good. I'm just in your way, aren't I? I might as well go home. Hey, I had to learn myself once, you know. And if you think I'm grumpy, you should have worked with me, Uncle Pete. What if I set this up at the end of the store, like a bargain basement? Trust me, you won't sell them. Nan says you can sell anything. Even apples with more bruises than Frank Bruno. Yeah. Five or six, you can't. You're on. Janine. I could do with hands here. I'm doing the toll receipts. Time management, Lynn. You soon get the hang of it. Excuse me, I don't really want my toast that brown. Oh. I'll do some more. Thanks very much. Oh. Who did all this before I got here? There's a girl called Kathleen. You see, our Janine doesn't like to get her hands dirty if she can help it. I was beginning to think I had mug written on my forehead or something. Uh, excuse me, does it look like self-service? You've got customers waiting. Yeah, and what's that got to do with you? I'm the bloke who pays your wages. Phil Mitchell gave me this job. And I'm the person who can take it away if I get any more of your lip. Phil Mitchell is just a sleeping partner. But you are right. It's not self-service, so I'll have one of those and a cup of coffee and I'll be sat over there. Ian, I haven't had to chase around after her all day. Oh, you have my sympathy. Zoe. Oh, she's doing all right, Mrs Harris. How about a bargain? Buy one, get two free. Go on. Ain't a bad kid, is she? When she's not driving. <laughs> Another day. Okay. I'll oh, keep an eye on her. Any more of her slacking, let me know. Oh well. He's a bit wound up today. What right, lady. Doing? I'm Liz. gonna see if this fits. Ow! Now, I don't mind doing my fair share of the work. That way I feel like I've earned my money at the end of the week. But if you think I'm some sort of muppet, you've made the biggest mistake of your life. Do you understand me? Yes. Good. I can't believe you sold this lot. Ta, it's gonna be a bubble squeak night in Walford. What's this? Wages. But I'm supposed to be paying for the damage. All right, call it a bonus for clearing that lot. Thanks. Now, I really didn't fancy this today. You weren't the only one. I really enjoyed myself. You weren't as bad as you thought, eh? Me and all. Come on. Oi, where are you going? You've got all that washing up to do. Oh, yeah. Time management, Janine. You'll soon get the hang of it. Okay. Yeah, see you later. Yeah. Ta-da. ta Look what I got. Right. That mark's really nice. So that was your day. Well, one or two teething problems, but I've sorted one out. Do you? That's the other one. Where's Gaz? How would I know? That was your day, Angel. Mark thinks I did really good. Mm, give her a bonus. Oh, yeah. I thought you could put it towards my first driving lesson. A proper one, because I want to be safe. I told you, as far as I'm concerned, you're grounded. Dad, go on. I'll think about it. I don't believe you. She's got to have them sooner or later. Oh, how was the cab? That Janine wound her up. Oh, it's all right. I sorted her out. It's the boss who's the real pain. What, Phil Mitchell? I thought he was all right. No, his partner, the flash who lives next door, but one Ian Bill. What's he do, then? 
Oh, it's just the way he talks to you, like you're beneath him or something. I nearly told him to stuff his job. You should have done. Yeah, but I need the money, don't I? I've had enough of him talking down his nose at us. I'm going round. Oh, Nan, leave it. We saw him going the Queen Vic. Oh, cheers. Right. Nan. Well, don't all sit there. Nan. We got to do get a drink in here. Uh, Frank. Yes, Ian. Scotch, please. A scotch. Ian. Printing. Hello, oh, please meet you. Um, can I get you a drink? Mm, vodka and lime. Ice and a slice. Just gonna powder my nose. Oh, it's round there. Scotch. 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 Hey, and Bill. Oh, you're in big demand tonight, aren't you? Yeah. You've been giving my granddaughter and our time today, so are you? If I had three employees like her, I'd be out of business in a week. Oh, now, wait a minute. You won't find a better worker than her. And I'm telling you, you give her an hard time tomorrow and you'll have us all to deal with. Are you threatening me? No, I'm telling you. She don't do her job, then sack her. But you give her a fair chance, otherwise I'll come round and see you. I don't have to listen to this. Oh, yes, you do, darling, cos I'll take you outside now and give you a good hiding. That won't do your reputation much good, would it? Being bashed up by an old lady. Yeah, whatever. So you'll give her a fair chance? Yeah. Come on, let's go. What about my drink? I'll get you one at the restaurant, all right? Say, so, you ain't such a bad fella after all. <laughs> Kate! 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 What the blooming heck's going on here? Oh, I love your granddaughter, Mrs. Harris. Do you know what time it is? Kevin? Oh, Kat, I love you. Go away. Wait there. What do I have to do to prove it to you? You're embarrassing me. I, I couldn't sleep for thinking about you. You're drunk. Push off. No. You go back to bed, young lady. I'll deal with this. <laughs> Saints. I don't know. Bewitched? I haven't looked. Don't tell me. Spice Girls. So last century. We've got the uh, Dolan sisters. Later in the war? That was the Andrews sisters, you plant. Frank, uh, can I have a word? I don't believe this. Shouldn't you be on your way up the mansion? Yeah, well, that's, that's just it. What about Annie's? Why don't you come back later on and find out? In the meantime, go away. Make yourself useful. Give me a hand with this, will you? Yeah. You still live? Oh, help. I heard all about last night from Nan. We had a right laugh about you this morning. Look, look, just do us a favour, will you, Zoe, and tell your sister... What? That... There's a sad old tramp in the square who's got the yachts for her. I wouldn't hold your breath, Kevin. He's getting up. He's staggering. <laughs> oh, he's going. Good riddance. Enough stink. Well, it wasn't what I thought it was in that chamber pot, Nan. I say nothing. I think it's really romantic. Excuse me? We must really care about her to do something like that. I think you're all being really horrible. <laughs> you can tell Trevor's on his way back. How do you mean? Well, whenever little Mo starts talking about romance, it's a sure sign she's getting excited. Stop it. What happens, Mo? He pulls up, jumps out the motor, kicks the door down and throws himself at you, is that it? <laughs> Stop it now! How long's he here for this time, Mo? You know what? I don't want to talk to you about it anymore. Thank you very much. Now look what you've gone and done. Got it! Oh, brilliant. Spears. Oh, we're going to need little Mo if we're going to do it. So somebody go and say sorry. What do you think? Very chic. Everyone is really jealous, and it is all down to you, so... If it makes you happy. You couldn't get me a new job and all, could you? Oh, if only. You're too good for this place. Mm -hmm. you know? I wish you were my boss again. The Nolan sisters? Oh, please. Oh, come on, it'll be a laugh. You're always moaning that I never ask you out, and when I do, this is what happens. Well, I've already said yes, no. Well, tell them you've had a better offer. Well, then there'll be one sure. The less Nolan sisters, the better. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. I need you there for moral support. Karaoke sucks. If you won't go out of me, I'll just have to find someone who will. Oh, you dare. Pick me up at the house at half seven. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Oh. See ya. Shut up. And what about this one? 
What? 50 litres of cooking oil. So? Janine, we're not feeding the 5,000. It'll be past its sell-by date before you use it. Ian, it worked out cheaper. Lynn. Yeah? From now on, you're doing the ordering. All right. What are you smiling at? Since when do you do laundry? Little Mo's getting ready for the return of Trevor. Oh, and there was me thinking that you were just a little bit dirty. In your dreams. What's this Lynn's been telling me about you going to be one of the Nolan sisters? You're going to wear the op pants, are you? Leave it out. Good Catholic girls and Nolan sisters. Look, but don't touch. You got it. Well, that sounds like a challenge. I beg your pardon. <sighs> Come on, Cap. If you didn't like it just as much as I do, then you wouldn't still be talking to me. What are you doing here? I'm bored. And between you and me, I just wanted to see what kind of knickers you wear. You're revolting. I'm at a loose end. Lynn's over at the calf. And you're over here. One of these days, I'm going to grass on you. I don't think you will. Don't count on it. No, because I think you like having a little secret just as much as I do. Don't push your luck. What's the point of having luck if you can't push it every now and again? Now, let me see if I can guess which ones are yours. Oh. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a little twinkle? Yes, we have a twinkle. Come on, let's give you a hand with these, huh? One more time, all right? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, girls. I'm trying to get some sleep in there. Not long now, Dad. Lynn's got me back at the cafe in five minutes. Yeah. Hello, what have we got here? Pete and Tom? I'm in the mood for dancing. Romancing. Who ain't giving it all tonight? I'm in the mood for dancing. I'm not too much. You can never wear too much makeup. Mm. What would Trevor say? <laughs> Trevor's not here yet, so make the most of it. Mm. Evening. How do I look? Ooh. You must be joking. Cat Lenny, me. She's only 16. This is show business, Dad. You have to look the part. Oh, yeah. Well, show business or not, they're not going to see next week's washing. No arguments. Go back and get changed. You want Kevin watch for me? No, oh, I'm looking for Gary. He's supposed to be here by now. Should give him up. You what? Well, he's not exactly Mr. Reliable, is he? He'll be here. What's that now? Oh, nothing. Gary's a bit late, that's all. Punch his lights out. Teach him to map you about. See? She agrees. <laughs> Besides, we should be going. Zoe! We're off. Coming to watch us, Dad? If I get thirsty. Ah, very, very nice. Who wants to be nice? Right, let's go and knock him dead. Yeah. Oh, forget it, Lynn. He's not coming. Good luck, girls. Cheers, Dad. See you, Dad. Good luck. There you go, my darling. Another large vodka and orange, plus your change. Are you celebrating, eh? Not exactly. Oh. Hello again. Hi. How's that boss of yours? Don't ask. Well, you say the word and I'll sort him out for you. Southeast area, middleweight champion. Really? No, not really. But I'm a shocking liar and you'll have to get used to it. <laughs> you were supposed to be picking me up at mine. I thought I was supposed to be meeting you here. Oh, don't lie. See what I mean? What I am is what I am, you what you are. Trust this young lady in a watch, I wonder. Oh, Nan, for goodness sake. Uh, can we put our names down, please, to a number? Yeah, yeah. No problem, sweetheart. Yeah. I sell for 40 in the shop. You can have one for 10. Yeah. Take the notice of that. Nan, can we sit down, please? Well, well, well. Don't. All right? See, I love this one when she's angry. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> Worth 20 quid of anybody's money. Fantastic. Do I get a drink as well? Naturally. Uh, thank you, Janine. Very nice. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've now got the uh, the fabulous Slater sisters. Nice round of applause. Oh, we're not quite ready yet. Can you give us a few seconds? You all right? Have I said something to upset you? Oh, just had a really bad couple of days. It's not your fault. Let me get you another drink. I think I've had enough. No such thing. What's he up to now? Oh, take no notice. We're not going to take no notice of him. He wants to do this to me.
He isn't hurt, luckily, but everybody else. Is Kat in, Mr Slater? Yeah, she's over the pub. Right, thanks. Uh, Kevin, hang on a minute. Come on, me. I should have this. The room's gonna start spinning in a bit. Get it down here. Do you good? I hate my life. Hey? Sometimes I wish a big hole would open up and I could just fall right into it. Is it because of that bus of yours? It's because of everything. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I wish you weren't being so nice to me. Well, why ever not? Because it makes me realise. Realise what? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go. What's the problem? Well, did I upset you? Nah, it's not you. I can't go back home. I can't stay here. I don't know what I'm going to do anymore. I think I'm going to be sick. Word with you. Cat, oh, I'm sorry about last night. Go away. Did you see what he did? He just walked straight out with that little tarp, and I'm not having it. I'm going to feel such a fool about this in the morning. Can you stand up, yeah? I'm going to take you up. <laughs> what are you doing? It's not what it looks like. What do you think you're doing? You pig. You complete pig. She's just had too much to drink, isn't she? Well, she'd have to be drunk, wouldn't she? To give you so much as a second glance. You. Stay away from me. I never want to see you again. Lean, come back. Cat, I love you. <laughs> Any use to you? I was entirely innocent. And that's what you get for messing with my sister.